I think it isn't the point at all um, because it's not about whether they feel statistically, it's about how they feel like in terms of um, their safety. Now, I think I would rather be attacked by a bear than a man because um, men are scary and the harm that they can cause can be psychological and emotional. Hold on, time um, out. Yeah. I never thought that the argument was what would you rather be attacked by? It was what would you rather be alone with? Yes, but, but in the case that there would be an attack, right? If, if you're saying that the attack by the bear is more likely, sure. But the thing is, like, like if you're attacked by a bear, the consequences of that are going to be different than if you're attacked by a man, even if the chances are different. I, I, I don't think this is anything to do with, like, statistically how women feel. It's how they feel, like, in the comparison of a man and a bear. Um, so I think, like... Sure, but you got to give reasons. Like, well, yeah, the reasons are because, um, it, what, like, women are scared of men and, like... Our like our interactions with bears, like for the most part, even even if there's less of them, are usually more positive and f like feel safer than our interactions with like strange men. Um, and yeah, you That's... can say it's like lifetime statistics, but do you not think that like a traumatic like psychological event is more harmful than like a physical um thing by an animal? It depends on the person. Honestly, you think that? How many times have you run into a bear? Okay, to be fair, we don't we don't have bears in Australia, but I, I know people no. who like you have, have koalas. Bears all the time. <laughs> koalas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> koalas. <laughs> yeah, no koalas are too scary. I think I'd prefer I, I feel like kangaroos are probably the equivalent of a bear. Like that shit will like <laughs> kick you in the face and kill you, right? <laughs> yeah, komodo dragons maybe. <laughs> Those are in like Borneo, Komo not those are in Komodo. Australia. I thought yeah. they were in Australia. Yeah. There are plenty. Wait, of komodo dragon? Did you say? Uh, yeah. In Australia, yeah. Yeah, we have Komodo dragons. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm pretty sure <laughs> we have okay, lace so monitors. Komodo dragon or man? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I I guess the point. I think the whole thing is like, it's not meant to be about what animal it is. It, it's just meant to be any scary animal. Like the, this is the thing. It it is just the the point is meant to be. Hey, as women, we're scared of men. And and that's what we're trying to say. Like that's that's really the main message. It's not meant to be like, let's let's break down the stats and like analyze. Like you know, it, it, it's it's the fact that even with the statistics this way, women are still more scared of men. Like isn't that isn't that trying? Isn't that like a? I don't a, a, think that they actually are. But also, like I said, that's fine. But then you ask them like, but wait, which one would you actually rather pick? And they actually would rather pick the bear. So it sounds like there's some sort of like. They're, they're not just, it's not, it's not, it's like they say, well, this is just a way for us to express the concerns that we have about um, men in society, which uh, men can be terrible people. I absolutely agree with that. But what, but the bear man thing isn't, they claim that that's what it really is, but it, it really actually isn't, I don't think. Because, again, like I said, they actually do really pick the bear, and then they give all these reasons why. The, the, way, well, well, the way I see it is that it's something like this. Um, it's something like women have this everyday experience, not, perhaps not everyday, but very, very frequent experience of being just, like, harassed and uh, by men and even, you know, assaulted by men. And so there's, like, whereas women do not have the everyday experience of being mauled by bears. So it seems plausible and reasonable. To be like, you know what? I'm willing to take my chances with the thing that I don't have an experience with harassing me and assaulting me. And, you know, perhaps you can work at the statistics and it doesn't work out. But, like, that's that's the vibe anyway. Um, Yeah, sure. But I, I didn't really get to this point. But I don't, I don't think anybody actually really thinks that a bear is safer. And that's because we don't have the typical person doesn't really actually... We don't really know what to think of bears because they're just so much not a part of our lives, right? Like I, I asked this to some people on the <laughs> on Maybe my not Discord. You, but I've slept with a bear since I was. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What well, there there is something else about bears being predi more predictable as well, like in the sense that they they follow more like base instincts, so you can kind of like gauge what kind of behavior they're going to have whereas a strange man you have absolutely zero idea they could manipulate you they could make you feel safe one minute and then like destroy your life the next like it's 
it's just uh, you know getting physically hurt is one thing but i just think the, the what yeah, you like, can't like, reason with a bear what well, yeah well yeah but but i don't think you can re- reason with a man easily either uh, like okay i don't think you me. can reason with a woman <laughs> if they want to hurt you i psh- the thing is right um, do you think that way about women wait do i think what way about that you, that re- that women cannot be reasoned with women are too emotional they cannot be reasoned with no i'm saying okay if a person wants to hurt you um, and, and, and they've made up their mind about it if they want to physically, um, it's probably going to be difficult to reason with them regardless of their gender. But we know like men, uh, m- women are more likely to be attacked by men than anyone be, oh, anyone's more likely to be attacked by a man than a the, woman, just like statistically, sure. Um, but, the, but the thing that's is, not what I'm, that's not what I said. No, I know, but I'm saying like, this is why, th- okay, this is why it's, uh, this is why it went viral is because women are scared and I think there's only so many different ways we can say this. Um, and I think maybe maybe the man versus bear thing isn't the best analogy, but it's all the whole purpose of it is to try and say, hey, as women, we are terrified of men and we, this needs to change. Like, it's, it's, this is why. This I'm is just whole- saying, I don't think you're as terrified. I, I don't think these people are as terrified as they think they are because... They have huge numbers of interactions with men, like literally all the time. And like, like if you walked around a corner and just saw a single man, would you be more scared if that happened than if you walked around a corner and saw a bear? Like if, for for example, if if I was um, like completely like, well, I mean, this is this is basically the same as, as the woods, right? But but the thing is, if there's a bear, if I okay, depending on the type of bear, right? But if it's a more like docile bear, I can probably just like like look at it and then walk like away. Like a I'd koala, be a bit scared, but sorry, <laughs> it just he's he made the koala joke again. Oh, <laughs> like I would be scared, sure, but. I, in the thoughts of like what is going to happen to me, the worst thing I'm going to think of is I'm probably going to like die by this bear attacking me. The worst thing that happened to you with men, I would, I would be thinking of a million different things. But even like staying alive would still be worse because of the pain or whatever it is, right? Like, like it's not about the stats. And I, and I think the stats on men assaulting women is the real stats that need, that is, that is what women are trying to say. It's not, they're trying to say, Hey, versus the statistics of how many interactions there are with bears. It's trying to say, Hey, the statistics of the men assaulting women are incredibly high considering we're the same species. And like, despite us having biological instincts, we have a brain that allows us to like decide, see more about what's right and wrong. A bear doesn't have any of this, right? So a man is the same species as us. They have this ability to control their biological instincts and they still attack us and assault us this much. Like, this is what we're trying to say. And I think... Yeah, I, I agree. Have- I agree with that, that that uh, a lot of men can be horrible people. Um, so like earlier, when I said the uh, women are emotional, do you think they can be reasoned with? We never really got... I don't actually think that. But I'm asking you if you agree with that sentiment. I don't think you do, right? Well, the thing is, um, I think... No, I, I, I have like a follow-up. So I'm just looking for a quick answer to that. Well, because I think there's a difference between a bear actually wanting to attack you and a bear just chilling, right? Because if I know, a, I'm if not a talking about bears to, like at all right now. Okay, but if a person wants to attack you, it's going to be harder to reason with them than if they're just standing there, right? I'm not talking about any of that right now. I'm just asking you, do you agree with the sentiment that women can't be reasoned with because they're too emotional? No, I, I, I already answered that question. I, I think that, no, that that's not the okay. case at all. I I agree, right? I I. I I agree. Okay. So I find that to be, um, now women are more emotional than men, but I find that to be a, a gross and unuseful stereotype against women, right? To, to say that, well, you should never even try to argue with a woman because they're too emotional and it won't matter. Okay. But we're allowed to say, well, if I meet a strange man, I'm just going to assume that I'm in danger. So this is... That, that is not. just stereotyping. No, because, okay. Well, I think you assume any random man is is dangerous because of what we know statistically about people that assault women. Um, and there are huge numbers of problems with that. For one, the vast majority of all of the 
um, uh, the cases where that happens are done by recidivists, people who do it over and over and over again. Uh, crime works that same way. Um, well, anyways, I don't want to ramble too much. Well, can, can I bring up an important thing is that women are most likely to be assaulted um, by someone they know, a partner, a friend, a family member. So this, Yeah, it's this, true with any kind of crime or violent crime. Sure. Most and likely this, person but, to kidnap a child is the mother or the father, for example. Right. Okay. So so this, uh, the thing is, right, um, is that with, with bears and stuff, right, like, they're just trying to get you because, like, like, even their intention is less scary. You know exactly what they want. You know exactly what they're going to do to get it. With a man, you don't know what they want. You don't know how they're going to get it. And yeah, I, if I walk down an alley way and I'm alone and there's just one strange man that yeah I'm gonna be scared because um because I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if they and they can physically overpower me very quickly and easily like I, I it, it's I don't know how they're gonna do it I don't know what they want from me you know and again like I, I, I think you're missing the point by looking at the stats because it's it is about how we feel it is about the feelings even if those feelings may seem irrational it's because they come from a problem that we need to solve and I think by by focusing on looking at the stats between the man and the bear instead of focusing on hey how can we change the stats of men and 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 talk to and, and why not have on your on your page a topic about like like toxic like uh, men being toxic or like uh aggressive like over, like the way they treat women like um instead of focusing on hey you women are wrong statistically like I, I just I just don't understand how that's going to like result in any positive change. Um, so, I mean, I agree that men are more aggressive and physically violent than women. Um, I like, you're not going to, I'm not going to sit here and say that that isn't the case or something like that. But I mean, I, I feel quite a lot of the arguments about the bear woman thing rely on, uh, unfair sexist stereotypes toward men like to just assume that if you see a man you're in danger that's that is the same line of reasoning as the people that make the 13 percent of the population commit 50 percent of the crimes sort of thing it's really not very different no i, I think it's very different so How? um the, the, okay because right um the difference is that we we know like like okay globally across every metric every variable every factor the case is that overwhelmingly men men still like um assault women and hurt women at a dramatically large rate right one that we yeah. can change this is all i care about and we can change it socially so wait, i, I wait, think like, wait 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 you said at a dramatically large rate what larger, does that mean larger like like well yeah like, much greater than women I'm yeah yeah, yeah, an, an unnecessarily large amount, amount, an amount that can be reduced with the right, um, you know, can, like so, simply, in simple ways, uh, such as social change, I think. I, I, I just I want to jump so, in yeah. because this is actually, like, remarkably, um, I'm actually quite surprised. I just ran the numbers on this. If you, went, if, you, if you went hiking in bear country every day of your life, or every day, it would, on average, you'd have to hike for 635 years to be assaulted by a bear. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Two, oh, there, there's one bear attack for every 232,000 days of, of hiking in bear country. Okay. There's just a lot of people who hike, so there's a lot of people who get, you know, 40 bears, 40 bear assaults per year or something like that. This, this argument, I don't really have a horse in this race, but doesn't it require that an encounter happens isn't it yeah the, 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 this know. is a this is another problem and i'm not trying to i'm not tr what i'm not trying to do is try how do i want to say this i'm not like trying to defend or i'm not i'm not trying to vilify bears <laughs> necessarily you or anything like bears. that i'm not having this i'm not trying to have a nerdy conversation where, where actually the bear is one I of the am, most i vicious. am trying to have a nerdy conversation about bears so. well yes but <laughs> but bad, the point is bad. like Making these comparisons to say to say to say these things about men, um, like that bear thing, it it makes it sound like well, you'd have to hike that long to be harmed by a bear. But we know that one in four women are assaulted at some point in their life, uh, you know, by a man. Therefore, it sounds like the man is astronomically more dangerous. No, because 
like you are you do not have anywhere close to the same number of interactions with with bears there aren't anywhere close to as many of the bears which is the biggest reason why the, there's such a, a a gulf between those like statistics for harm or whatever and so i just think that like people just don't real like you can use statistics to create any narrative you want and the the narrative that sure. men are are violent horrible people and you should be afraid of men is um Hang it's on. it sounds silly on the face of it and the statistics don't support it when you actually yeah, like understand what you're, you're kind of straw manning it because i don't think that's what we're saying at all um the thing is it's not like oh you should be afraid of all men and, and all men are bad and all this stuff it's not what it's saying it's saying that well because we've had so many times where we've trusted men and and and, and felt safe around them and then we've had a time where they have um betrayed our our trust and and you know made us feel unsafe it is it is very hard to then um feel safe and and trusting around someone who has like the physical capacity to hurt you more and is like more likely to um it doesn't mean that we're we should be afraid of every man but we are that's the problem that is the issue and we are because of and 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 what you can do right is no you i'm not saying that you and blitz or any of the men on this panel i should be afraid of but but the the conversations you can have with the people around you are important because many men don't even realize they are friends with or family members with someone who's assaulted someone or, or hurt someone in that way because obviously they're not going to tell you about it and and by having social change like by actually like um not like shaming that behavior and normalizing like um to, the way we talk about women to be differently because it, there is still an issue a social issue with the way men talk about women even if they never hurt a woman in their life right i i completely agree like for example when britney griner was um detained by russia the number of people that said good and the number of people like when she was released that booed it i was like what in the actual fuck is wrong with you assholes um i i i literally cannot stand when people do things like that and i I fully support um, conversations around that and talking to young men, especially about being decent people and that what a real man does is treat everybody, including women, with respect. And there are tons of things you should never do and all those sorts of things. I totally agree with that. The problem I have is all these things that like are justifiable to um, criticizing men or whatever. Um, it just it just comes back to the bear thing is like like another another conversation we i we had in the uh what do you call it in my uh discord or whatever it was like if you really think men are so much more dangerous then i proposed a hypothetical i was like would you rather be if you're in a zoo um would you rather be in the bear cage or not in the bear cage and let's just say the only other person like the only other people in the prison are men or whatever because i feel like if you really think this way about men, you think being in the bear cage is safer. And nobody actually thinks that way, right? So I just feel like when people pick the bear, they don't really believe that. But do you know what? Like, like it seems like you say, oh, I understand why. Yes, I, I can understand why because of the trauma, but but you've never been a, mauled by a, a, a bear either. And so, like, imagine what that would do psychologically to somebody, it, right? Like, it, I've it, been sexually assaulted before and um like Sorry, d yeah. different people have different experiences with that it doesn't affect all of them the same and some people do say things like i would rather be dead than raped or whatever but a lot of people also don't think that way too sure i mean yeah yeah you can say that but it's not on like a man like it's not like a man can't kill a, a woman and and often mm -hmm. and and um, a bear doesn't usually then uh grape a woman before they murder them right so like the thing is i i get what you are saying i i don't think it's meant to be this like oh all men of evil like stereotype i think it's meant to be there is a pro there is a social problem with how men are socialized and how women are socialized in society and this problem is leading to an in like more uh, unnecessary violence and we can change that with social change and i think those are the conversations that are way more productive um than statistics 100 percent 100 percent agree but i think you'll lose a lot of people 
um, if you say things that just like logically don't really make a lot of sense, like picking the bear, I feel like, um, it's not and, meant to be and a few other things. Like, it's meant to be about the emotion behind it. It's meant to be like a shock factor. Like, hey, you thought we would choose the bear, but we are actually so scared that we're making a decision that you don't expect. And that's meant, to, but I guess. That's yeah, but if like it's a, not logical, then people aren't going to respect that. But but it's not. But the thing is, the whole point is that, like, fear, like, like, fear is, is uh, like, feeling fear is, is. The fact that people do feel more fear is 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 a fact, right? Yes, the fear itself may seem illogical, but but the, regardless of whether you think it's illogical or not, the fear is still there, and that is because of the problem that we have in society. And I think I think just by by acknowledging it but not actually focusing on it, you're kind of losing the actual like point of the argument. So I don't mean to be. Please don't take this as like um, insulting. I just don't know how else to say it, but. We don't capitulate to um, phobias and irrational thinking. We should never do that, right? And that's why I'm saying, like, when you when you actually pick the bear, even though it, the, I can't think of a, a decent reason why you sh why you should or whatever, um, and when you misrepresent the things, I get it that there is the fear of it, but just because just because somebody is afraid of something, like there are racial tensions that exist in our country too, and it it's true and what we sh like we should meet people where they're at instead of like and explain to them like logically and rationally with compassion why their misgivings or whatever are unfounded rather than saying well you're a bigot and you're ignorant and you're from the country and you just don't get it right well, can, and i i really I worry that a lot of these conversations about men are conversations like that like I've, I, I've I haven't been numbers? paying attention to the chat, but I'm pretty sure I've been accused of mansplaining. I don't know a hundred times. Can I jump in with some numbers? Yeah, go ahead. Kind of interesting that they're r roughly of the same order of magnitude. So, so depending on where you look, and I, I've been digging for the last ten minutes to try to figure out any good numbers on it. So people seem to say that on average, over a human lifetime, you'll meet between ten. You'll like you'll encounter, um, and like you know, say more than like make I. You know, you'll quote unquote meet whatever that means somewhere between ten thousand and a hundred thousand unique individuals. So let's just take the the um, the highest number just for to be conservative. Let's say that you meet on average fifty thousand unique men over the course of a lifetime. So that so and the statistic is something like one in five or one in four to one in five women are assaulted in one way or another, right? Sexually assaulted. So if we take the most conservative estimate, say one in five, say that you meet fifty thousand unique men over the course of your life, that's roughly a one in three hundred thousand chance of being. Um, uh, of 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 a, a given a given man assaulting a woman, right? So so that interestingly enough, that is of the same order of magnitude of your probability of being attacked by a bear. Um, if you spend your entire life in the woods. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, like they're like it's one in a hundred, one in three hundred thousand versus one in three hundred twenty thousand. So, but they're roughly you... the same order of magnitude. <laughs> it, yeah, strange. but but isn't isn't part of what is skewing that um, to make it even. I think it should be tilted. I, I think the bear is way more dangerous. And I think part of the reason why this comes out even is because there are so few bears. Like we compared 50,000 oh, yeah, 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 unique yeah, interactions sure. with men with you're in the woods and you know, you're not going to like build a society, like get rid of half the men in the world and replace every, and replace all 4 billion of them with bears. And yeah, so, how so much more harm one, one would happen in that, that world? Us, I think it would be much greater. But that is cool. What you that's that's definitely true. So one of yes. the things that that skews this is that uh, bears are especially black bears. Brown bears are a slightly different story. But black bears, there's ten times more black bears than brown bears in the United States. So black bears are scared of people. So they don't hang out with people. So arguably, being in the woods with a black bear is actually not that dangerous because black bears, unless it's in September or January, I guess that that's when they're the most hungry. Um, I think 88% of all bear attacks happen in those months. Uh, yes, I've been doing a lot of reading on this for some weird reason. But <laughs> unless unless it's one of those months when the bears are hungry, black bears are going to avoid you. So it's actually pretty safe to be in the woods with a bear, with a black bear at least. Brown bears will fuck you up because they'll fuck you up. But um, yeah. And that's just because bears are afraid of humans, black bears especially, because and you can scare them off by just going, rah, looking big. So you're not going to get attacked. On the other hand, um, most men are not going to do anything to you. So like there, there's a there's an 
there's an imbalance kind of in both ways. Um, bears are probably going to stay away from you because there's not a lot of bears and the bears that are around are afraid. And most men are not going to assault you. So, you know, the, num the numbers go both ways and it's just worth, uh, you know, I mean, to me, this is an academic exercise. I just like playing with numbers and doing estimates like this, but, you know, yeah. not making any judgments here or there. I know you actually like bears. Another thing, another thing where I, I just think like, like people claim that they'd rather pick the bear, that the bear is safer. But again, I don't think people actually act that way. And so I don't think they really believe it. Like, for example, I, I don't think the woods is like the most dangerous place to run into a man. It's like for a bear. Yeah. Cause that's its territory and whatever. But, um, like, I think some of the more dangerous places to, uh, Slaya, Princess Slaya, like slay. Is that what that means? Um, yeah, yeah. It's that's so hilarious. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I didn't read your name before that, but that's funny. Like I would I would say, for example, probably like a bar or a nightclub, um, those are not the most dangerous place to meet a man. But I think that would be far more dangerous than like I would your definitely rather meet woods. a bear. Actually, no, I think would I rather meet a bear or a man in a nightclub? <laughs> in a nightclub. <laughs> because that's if a bear is in awesome. a nightclub, um, you might a man. like that's probably yeah. real bad, right? I feel like a, the better hypothetical would to be say that would you rather to meet a random man in your kitchen of your house or a bear in the kitchen of your house? Yeah, and I would, I I would pick the man. Yeah. I, would, I would pick the man. <laughs> but but Slaya, I, I, I want to... I actually think that that makes it more in favor of the bear, by the way, because a bear in your kitchen is probably just looking for food and you could probably just throw <laughs> some beef at it and it would walk away and be happy. If there's a random dude in your kitchen... <laughs> I don't know, man. You could have different I mean, problems. yeah, but that I, I don't. Too. I don't think that's the actual spirit of the of <laughs> of the question. And actually, um, uh, Nightmare and I talked about this on on the Discord. But I I think to really make it just about the situation, not like the circ, not like trying to assume the circumstances that led up to it, is like, would you rather be just for whatever reason? all of a sudden transported into a 30 foot by 30 foot room with some bear, any bear, whatever, or just one of the 4 billion men on the planet. And I just, I would pick the man. But anyways, I, I want to try to finish out my last thought. And then I actually have to go here in a little bit, but uh -huh. Slaya, like, wouldn't can you I say one more thing too? <laughs> Sorry. Just cause I haven't, can I say one more thing to you? Just cause there's stuff I've been wanting to say. Um, well, I kind of started my question, but then I never finished it. That's kind of why I want to try to answer. But I'll, I'll, I'll hear you out as soon as I. Word. I meant after. I meant after you. Sorry, or whenever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the last word. I have no problem with that. Um, so like, I feel like like a place like a nightclub or whatever is um that that's a fairly of all the like risky places to run into men that are like common like social interactions, not like a back alley or skid row or something like that. That that's like silly. I feel like that's kind of you know, your risk assessment at a place like that goes up. And this, like, people literally talk about this. There are phone numbers you can call. There's the special drink you can order. Go there with a friend and things like that. But An angel shot. Yeah, or uh, or whatever. But people even, but people are still always doing these things. And I, I feel like if people actually thought um, that men are as bad as, it, as it sounds like we say they are a lot of times, then people just wouldn't do these things. And so, again, this is just an example of me saying, like, I don't think you can reason yourself to think anything, but your actual, like, instincts and behavior might betray what you've argued yourself, yourself into thinking. But don't people still go into the woods, too? Yeah, because, um, wait, well, yeah I, yeah, I don't think the bear, bear or the... are rare. Well, no, I go into the woods because the odds of running into a bear are super low. Like when I went to Yellowstone, I was really freaked out about running into bears and they had bear mace for sale in the gift shops, but they were, it was 50 bucks. And when I saw that, I actually loudly said, oh, I guess we're too poor to live. And like the people at work there got really pissed off that I said that. Well, but. you know what the bear mace is? It's just spice for the friend of yours, so that way you can throw spice on them, make them taste better for the bear, and then you run off. I yeah, just hope you don't get a Mexican bear. <laughs> well, um, on, on the bright side, bear mace will work on both a bear and a man, so you could just have a like, yeah. world. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Probably works better on a man, but anyway, <laughs> Slay, uh, um, you, you get to have the last word. Th thank you. Um, 
And I, okay, I think like, I think, well, that was one other thing I wanted to point out. And that was also like people's reaction um, to an attack, for instance, like um, when if you got attacked by a bear, people would probably be like, oh, no, like, bear, like, like you, you must have gotten lost in the woods or whatever. Whereas if it was a man, they'd be like, well, why were you in the woods at that time? You know, why, why were you wearing that? Why, you know, what, what did you do to tempt him? You know, this is, this is stuff that happens to women or why are you lying? You're trying to ruin the, you know, no one would say, oh, you're trying to ruin the, the bear's life by saying you got attacked by a bear. Right. Um, so, so that's another thing to point out, but, but anyway, regardless of that, I think when it, when it comes down to the thing about how you're saying we don't, um, give any credence to like phobias and stuff like that, that are rational. The thing is, this isn't irrational. The statistics of, of, um, how many, like how often this happens, despite the fact that it's not all men are extremely high. And the fact, like all I, I think all women care about in this whole thing is that, is that we're pointing out there's a problem here. And the way that men are socialized is causing it. And that's really like, it's not about the bear and the man. It's not about the statistics, it's not about any of that. It's just saying, hey, we have a problem. Can we please try and change this socially? Because we know that it's possible. Like we see that changes in socialization can uh, can reduce um, uh, people like like uh, conflict and stuff like that. So, so let's make this change. Let's try and like have these conversations in that and focus on the social change of like reducing harm rather than, um, rather than focusing on the stats between environment. As much as I love, I love statistics too. I'm a, I'm a math nerd myself, but in this case, I really think it is more about like the social change and, and the way that we talk about these kinds of things. Sure. Um, I mean, I know I said that you have the last word, but I mean, I'm going to respond to that. You, you can respond afterwards. <laughs> I don't care. But um, my my concern about it is that if it's if it's not actually rational or logical, and if we don't if we don't really have an honest conversation about like what the data means, then what we can do is fall into this entrapment of safetyism, which there are lots of examples where that like like mass panics and things like that have had really negative consequences like for example like a really big one is with like like people are just assuming that uh, kids are in more danger nowadays and that's just completely stupid and not true like there was this mother she was smeared all across the entire country in newspapers as the worst mother in america because like she lived in new york and she let her kid who was like nine years old take the subway home from school and people like what are you doing that kid's gonna be abducted and like people ran the statistics like what Blitz did earlier and they found that the kid would have to sit there alone for literally hundreds of thousands of years to have, to be guaranteed to be abducted or like another really stupid example is like in Canada this woman was I don't think she was arrested I think she was fined but her child was playing in the backyard unsupervised and their house has a fence around it And the mother was watching her from the kitchen window and somebody reported her that she, and she got, she got in trouble for child endangerment, right? So we can like convince ourselves and be scared of like, you know, these ideas. And if if they're not really based in, in a lot of, in like a lot of honest data or whatever, then we're going to end up like either convincing of ourselves of stuff that, that isn't true, or people just are not going to take to heart what we're saying because there's a lot of things that like a lot of the way a lot of these types of things are couched is just like that's like people are just going to stop listening to you right away so i'm i'm worried that these types of conversations um aren't productive because of that so anyways well okay so i think that um to say that like it's a mass panic like i think women have been talking about this like probably since the beginning of, of women understanding that they shouldn't be treated like this right um, I, I was saying it's it's like mass panics that have happened i i don't think that um uh saying something like one in four women are assaulted at some point in their life by a man is a mass panic i think that's basically true right and and i think that the fact that that statistic came out and then a lot of men came back like, oh, trying to, again, they, they kind of did what you did, right? They kind of tried to break down the stats and be like, well, this is actually bad. This is this, this, this. And, and do you not think that by doing that, 
they were missing the point of that statistic. And do you not think that this is why people are trying to find ways to simplify um, what what is happening? Because even though it's trying to be communicated, I'm not saying people like you necessarily, but other men are just going, well, that's just BS. And meanwhile, their friends are the ones doing it because they're not having these conversations with them. They're just going, oh, these stats are just bull, bull crap, right? So like again i just i just think like the com i don't think the conversations have to be a, a you know whatever necessary or not you know whatever it is i think the conversations can be productive and i think i've already seen many productive conversations um based on this topic because a lot of men don't consider like why the women are actually choosing this emotionally or uh in terms of like how that uh, you know statistically in terms of like the men statistics on their own i think they're just immediately going oh you're saying i'm worse than a bear or whatever or, i'm scarier than a bear and, and i just i just don't i just don't think that's the point um but you, I, I mean i don't know i think this conversation could could have even been productive for people um i you know and i and i think you could try you could you could even just try it and and put a different swap the man greater than bear thing and just see if um if you can have productive conversations and then if you can't fine but like why not try at least right um I, sure i, I kind of so this is like a trend on tiktok and i just wanted to try it out one time so i put it up there to see if anything would ever happen um this and isn't you've been had i don't know <laughs> <laughs> um so um but actually like i i consider myself like the Left leaning. I'm. I'm interested. I, I don't really talk. exactly call myself like progressive necessarily. Like I, I don't identify with like progressives culturally. I guess, but I consider myself a progressive. And I, I've had like I, I've read stuff um on like the psychology of uh, the psychological differences between the sexes and things like that. And I think that this stuff is important because it has like I'm the kind of person that's interested in you know, some level of like social justice or whatever. And we have to understand um, ourselves and each other to have, to build a better world. Like, for example, this is the thing that we will actually end with today because I got to go. But um, like, uh, it's going to sound like like it's wildly off topic, but it's, it's actually not. Like people that have um, a lot of like homophobic ideas, right? Like they say like, oh, well, you know, uh, homosexual men, they the the rate of like STDs and whatever among them is so incredibly high, and they're just debaucherous, immoral, blah 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 blah. It's like, well, when you actually understand things about uh, men and women, this actually makes perfect sense because it's not a gay thing; it's a man thing, right? Um, and all kinds of studies will reveal this to you. Um, like, for example, men in general. When you ask them how many sexual partners would you like to have in your lifetime, they typically answer something like between 12 and 15. And for women, it's about like six to eight, something like that, right? So um, straight men would have as much fun as gay men did if only women were as uh, uh, were the pigs that men are. But luckily for the world, women are not like men in that respect, right? So... That's something where actually learning uh, more about this, it, it undoes bigotry in ways that you probably wouldn't expect it to be able to. And so I find these kinds of, like I said, I find these things to be important and they're important discussions to have, but it's got to be, that I, the bare thing, what I just don't like about it is it's, it's, it's a little too emotional and it's, it's I, I wish it, I, I want a better rational conversation and without going into like well that's not the point the point is this that other thing and you can like understand why somebody would be have a fear of whatever because we've already done that that's just those are just my final thoughts i guess well why not come up with your own um better analogy then to help women explain it because then he'd have to go so viral <laughs> sorry blitz because then he'd have to go viral <laughs> yeah we can't have that <laughs> um, so and like what are you why don't I come up with my own analogy to do to do what? To send the message to men that we're trying to send that isn't getting through, I guess. Oh, well, that's what I tried to do today, I thought. Like, I, I wasn't disagreeing that men, that there are, like, issues and that men can be, um, are, are more likely to do these things. And, like, we know it 
for a fact, but. Have you like, have, have any men like come up and, and talked about it out of curiosity? No, I've only done that. Like a cu- I think this is only like the second time I've ever even used that prompt. I... And like I said, I'll probably just get rid of it. Uh, we talked about this in my discord server for a little bit. Yeah. But... I, I talked about it with Peterson. I told him that basically if I was in a woman's shoes, that if, you know, like I was SA to rape, uh, graped, um, that I would probably choose the bear because I am betting on it actually unaliving me. Cause that's what I'm betting on. Not because I would want to ever go back to the notion of like a man possibly doing that to me again. It's an irrational thing. I agree. It's irrational, but I would personally think that because the emotional damage of that happening before would be far worse to go through that again than to just be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to go with the bear this time. One of the things that I think is interesting is that um, nobody's really done the math on this. And like the math that I did just a second ago was like really sketchy and probably not even a good representation of what it is. I think the, the, like, the really instructive thing here is that there's kind of a gut reaction that apparently a lot of women are having. I, I wouldn't know. My, I, my wife isn't familiar with the trend and you know, I don't talk to other women because, you know, I'm me. But um, the point is, is apparently a lot of women are having this gut reaction like, oh, yeah, obviously go with the bear without doing the math. And I think that speaks to something more than what the actual probabilities of getting attacked actually are. I don't think it's anything it, like, I mean, look, I like Peterson, I know I know that you're like, yeah, like probabilistically, you're probably safe around men. And that's probably true. But the point is not what the probabilities say. It's what the gut reaction is. And what does that say about the society we live in? Yep. Yeah, but again, I don't think we should. I don't think we should form our opinions on each other based on, um, based on like fears that we may have. Because I, but but they're that's, grounded. That's not in, rational. But they are grounded. Like it, it's not that there's no statistics that are saying why we should be afraid of men. It's just that compared to bears, it's a certain way. But but the, it's not irrational. I think that's because people don't know anything about what it's like to have an interaction with a bear. I think th- I think even the fact that the maths is hard to do right because it, because it's hard to get that kind of data it is is supposed to All right. it, it's you know what next video I'm making I'm making the uh, I'm doing the math I'm I'm going to do the math because <laughs> apparently somebody needs to do it. Let's yeah, go ahead that'd be cool. Yeah, honestly I I would I would like that. I I want to try to get top comment. I had a little monopoly going in your comment section for a while. I just well, Yeah, cuz my comment my videos weren't getting sent out to the for you page whatsoever. I know, dude. It was great. Hmm. You know, when that wasn't happening, I was I was killing it in your comments, dude. <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> I saw someone in the comments before say, "Oh, maybe the bear will give the women equal pay." <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, yeah, I, Peterson made a great point earlier. I, though. Let's replace all the men with bears, and then the politicians don't have to worry because we've elected <laughs> fucking dinosaurs for some reason. So yeah. wait, happens. who wins in a fight, a dinosaur or a bear? What it, uh, depends, on, what depends on the dinosaur. <laughs> depends on the bear. I, honestly, I would take a polar bear over basically any dinosaur. I don't know. I, think it's I, no, I was trying to pick some big ones. People were people were having this argument like, what's more dangerous, a polar bear or a grizzly bear? And I was like, you know, one hundred percent a polar bear. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't bear. know because polar the polar bear, bear is humans bigger for fun. Well, so I was like thinking more of what would win in a fight, a grizzly bear or a polar bear. Polar bear. Um. Polar bear, and easy. I don't know, because they are bigger, but they have way longer necks, and they have way shorter fur than grizzly bears. I don't know how their claws compare, I guess. But, yeah, um, and also, bigger. polar bears, they, they, their, their lifestyle is just, like, so weird. They're more fishers than, like, well, um... Yeah, and seeking. human hunters. Yeah. And they, they can travel further, they run further, because they have a higher endurance. Like, they, they just beat the grizzly bear in all... And everything they have a higher okay. strength as well. Okay, well, I don't know. we'll have to see. Well, no, we won't see. Kodiak, but... <laughs> Kodiaks will also fuck you up, by the way. Kodiak bears are not. Kodiak bears eat, are just mean blitz, brown blitz, or eat, mean grizzlies, right? Eat, We're just talking about Kodiaks. bears. Oh, not God. start with Kodiak comments. My goodness, have you not seen what's happening on TikTok because of that? Have you no, guys ever seen happened? a Kodiak what? Kodiak bear? Dude, everyone just puts Kodiak in front of everything. They're like, but bro doesn't know about the Kodiak ice cream. Scoop. Yeah. <laughs> like if something's big, they just say it's a Kodiak something. 